for our Kickers. I'm DJ. Today is Friday, November 5th, 2021. Joining me today is my calling card, Gina, on this lovely Friday. Hey, everybody. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Friday and a great week. We, have, we took a day off on Tuesday, so I hope you had a fabulous Tuesday. We have much to share with you today, but first, here's the weather forecast for next week. Hello, it's me, Austin. And I'm Calvin. The weather forecast for next week looks like we're going to have temperatures from the mid-40s to the 60s. And we're going to get a little rain around the end of the week. Here's another interesting weather fact. In the Arctic Ocean, ice flowers bloom due to imperfections in the ice. Shards of ice stuck out of the ice. That's really interesting. I never knew that imperfections in the ice could affect how the ice, flower, ice flowers bloomed. We hope you have a good day, and we'll, and we'll see, see you next time. Thanks, Austin and Calvin, for the weather. Now let's take a look at today's birthdays with Riley and Savannah. Hi, Kurtz kids. The colorful cougars are back with some birthdays. Let's get to them. On Monday, Mason H. On Tuesday, Alexander S. On Wednesday, no birthdays. On Thursday, Jordan M. and Chloe T. On Friday, Maxwell B. And on Saturday, Spencer H. On Sunday, Brennan N. And that's all the birthdays for now. See you soon, Curse Cougars. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. We hope you have a great birthday. Now let's hear Sophia and Marcy for the languages around the world. Hola. Bonjour. Ni hao. Hello. And, and welcome, welcome back to Learning Lingo, where we teach you a few different words and a few languages. Now, I have a question for you, Sophia. How was your Halloween? It was great. I got a lot of Crunch Bars. Those are my favorite candy. Oh, I love Crunch Bars. Wait a minute. What will that be our word of the week? That'll be great. Now we need a language. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh I got one. Drum roll, please. please. Norwegian. Now, in Norwegian, it's Sucre. Now, faster, it's Sucre. Now, now for our next language. Drum roll, please. Siberian. Now it's Siberian. It's bombole. Now say it faster. It's bombole. Wait, that reminds me of something. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bombole, bombole. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that's a Spanish song, right? Yeah. What does bamboleo mean in Spanish, though? It means a wobble. Really? Yeah. Well, that's all. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, that's all for today, Cooch Kurgers. Ciao! Thank you, Sophia and Marcy, for teaching us those new words. Now let's hear Crystal for what's happening around Kurgers. Hey, Kurgers Kurgers. We're here with Mr. Ron to interview him about Veterans Day. What, what is Veterans Day? Why is Veterans Day important? Well, Veterans Day is really important because it recognizes all veterans, whether living or dead. And often that's confused Memorial Day. Memorial Day is really to honor the one that's passed. So they either die in battle or they have to be gone. But Veterans Day is everybody, living and present. And a little bit of history of Veterans Day. Veterans Day started at the end of World War I. It actually started in 1918. And people don't realize it. That's why it's significant. 11, 11, 11. It's November 11th. On the 11th hour was the sign of an armistice. It's called Armistice Day in the beginning. Not until 1938 was it considered the holiday. It really signifying the end of World War I. World War I really ended seven months later. So it's really the sign of an armistice, which was a ceasefire. And everybody, all the countries stopped fighting. But seven months later, approximately seven months later, it became a treaty. And it's known as, I believe, the Treaty of Versailles. Why is the flag important to you? Well, it's very important. Uh, the flag is a symbol of our country, of freedom, of democracy. And all, as you probably know, all the colors mean something. Do you know what the stripes mean? Yeah. The stripes mean the 13 original colonies that made up America as the beginning. Mm. Do you know what the stars mean? All the states? That's right, exactly right. Very good. That stars are all the states, represents. Now the red, the colors mean something to us veterans also. The red means the blood to us, the blood and sacrifice of all of us before us that we gave to our country. And that's very important. The white, 
the period. This period was where a pure country. And what's the blue stand for? Justice and vigilance. Which means we want to watch out what's happening around our borders, what's happening everywhere around the world, and take care of our country. That's the significant of the flag. It's very important to all of us, and it really upsets us when it comes to people kneeling on our flag, but they're kneeling on our nation. It's not about some type of protest. There's many ways of protesting. I'm not against protesting, but I am against protesting kneeling on our flag. That's against our whole nation. Thank you for your service. And that's all, Kurtz Cougars. Bye. We're happy that a veteran came in. Came in. Crystal and Ava interviewed him. Let's have everyone rise for the sake of our Pledge of Allegiance. Let's rise. Well, that's all the news we have for you on this wonderful week. We hope you have a wonderful week and a hopeful and a great weekend. Thank you.